Good day people, welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. Today's video is extremely important for the people who are interested in the price of silver. That especially includes the people who have been holding silver for a while and they're finding a good price, they want to find a good price to sell silver. So today's video is extremely important for them and be sure to uh, see every bit of the silver part especially just to make sure that you don't miss out very important uh, signal that I'm giving very important uh, analysis that I'm giving on silver we'll also discuss on uh, gold as well we'll look at this gold where gold is heading so let's start today's analysis in my last week's analysis I forecasted that we are considering this as a ending diagonal we have one right over here, we have two right over here, we have three, we have four, and then price will head on. It's a traditional uh, Elliott wave um, pattern that we recognize. It's called ending diagonal. And we consider this ending diagonal as part of a larger pattern, which is wave A right over here, wave B complete right over here, and wave C complete right over here. And I've been forecasting that price of silver will probably jump up to $40 an ounce. So we have seen some uh, reversal happening. Uh, on uh, in last week it was not so strong but we definitely have seen some reversal and on Friday we some see saw, uh, saw some interesting price action as well so what has changed uh, from my last opinion and it has um, to do with the price target first of all there is a possibility that we might not actually go to forty dollars but don't get discouraged I have even greater news for you and that is that initially we were thinking that uh, silver probably is done as soon as the top is created at the zigzag and then silver is done and we'll see a larger pattern downward I've done some uh, further analysis and it is indicating me especially based on um, cycle analysis it's indicating me that the correction is not done at the top over here so the wave that started right from over here is not completed at that pattern that means that the pattern that we have included is uh, the zigzag pattern that we have been considering is only the part of the larger game so it's probably that we probably see complete C side right over here and we'll complete the ending diagonal as over here too somewhere over here somewhere in $34 $35 range and after that we are expect we are supposed to see the correction of this whole pattern that actually started from right over here and then that correction probably will take prices right back to the support area which is right over here in this region when prices come right over here we are still to decide what sort of correction would look like over here it could go simply a single zigzag correction a double zigzag and that be end of the story or it could be actually a flat correction price it could come down go up and then come down back again so we have still have to decide on that but as soon as the correction is complete it might take us probably as much longer as this the price movement or it could be even shorter who know about it but it's too early to say much about it the point here is as soon as that correction is complete we are going head higher so we'll be looking at probably creating a new top so this correct this analysis that we were talking about was only part true considering that prices would fall prices would go up and they would fall again back again but they are to make another top at the top of uh, at somewhere around probably the previous top so it could go to fifty five dollars it could go to fifty seven dollars or it could go around somewhere around fifty dollar an ounce so it's your decision to make when to uh, when to do that the Initially, the, the we were expecting that uh, silver is quite la is late from uh, following the gold. It looks like it's quite late. The cycle of silver is quite late, and we can say that uh, we have created a new top in gold, but we have not created a new top or such a large and price movement in silver. So it seems that silver is about a year late from the price analysis. Uh, of uh, from making new new highs and uh, it looks like that's gonna happen so let's change our labeling as well uh, we can consider this as W and the bottom would be let's say right over here X that'll be our first zigzag correction and then we have a second zigzag this looks more probable and then we'll have that and then we will consider a whole price movement from that top from this top to this bottom is your W and this top this bottom to that top right as X and then we will see price of the silver 
coming down. I want to make important point. You must be considering that uh, it's not easy to consider to look at the price analysis in such huge uh, wings, uh, and therefore I have to go and repeat the analysis, the large time analysis, time and again, time and again over. It's so because I've spent a lot of time on doing the research, and then I realize, okay, yeah, there is something wrong with my previous analysis. So instead of hiding that, I just come forward and let you guys know what I'm thinking. One more important point that we have to understand is that about 80, the last 80% 80, 80 of the price movement actually occurs in the 20% of the time. That means the major amount of the price, the swing analysis actually, uh, the swing actually occurs in the 20% of the total time. So you have to be really careful uh, about important support levels and important re resistance levels. And you have to different definitely consider all the alternating counts as well. So now that we have seen uh, an update in the price of uh, in the swing that I'm seeing about uh, gold, uh, I mean in silver, we'll also look at the price of gold as well. So this is actually really really great news if you are talking, uh, if you speak to me, and that is we have been waiting for the large swing that can actually it seems to be happening right now, and uh, we can identify important support angles, uh, support areas once again, and this is an important support. So when prices go up and we see that prices can pro come back to around $21, we are going to see these massive swings in the price of silver. Don't be get scared. If your personal point, you want to sell right over here, buy back again uh, over here and sell it. But be really sure uh, what you want to do because the premiums are running really high in silver bullion. So that's your decision to make what you want to do. Uh, I was thinking more probably that if you want to sell right over here, probably go for it and then go ahead and buy paper silver of the same amount right over here that will give you a much liquid form of buying and selling premiums would be comparatively less and then you won't be risking uh, lots of money just because you bought right over here does not mean that it will actually keep you on the straight path you might be scared that it might actually go further down a little so that could be a possibility too you'll have this will definitely be a good point to sell but once again it's your trading decision to make let's have a look at uh, the price of uh, gold we have done quite a bit of uh, uh, movement on uh, in gold uh, last week I said stated that this let me delete that first last week I stated that this support area is very important and we have seen a very good reversal on a weekly on a weekly uh, bar as well so this is really important really good news we are seeing the support coming and then we also saw good price interest uh, movement occurring on Friday so we saw this deep price movement and uh, while I made a classic mistakes I sold right over here and I then again tried to buy again right over here I sold it right at the top and then tried to buy back again and guess what we saw a larger price movement but I stayed on to the punch position so I'm kind of right now in a little red from this red but as a whole if uh, we look at the price analysis we are doing really great of as per our analysis so that the swing that we were expecting is gonna happen we we're expecting the prices to go all the way up and I believe that when silver completes the ending diagonal uh, gold will be right over here gold will be finding the important support area so we have find one support area from previous uh, um, price movement and then we will finding another support area <laughs> tell me the resistance for of course the price going up and then we will expect the prices to come down so I'm still bullish on gold uh, we have to consider the labeling if any of you guys can come up with the labeling of this nasty price movement please go ahead Right now I was just looking at the traditional technical analysis of support and resistance but I'm considering if you consider this whole price movement as single price movement that makes more sense instead of actually considering this as a complete wave or, and then this is a complete wave. So it makes more sense for considering this whole price movement from top to bottom as one and that's as wave two. So we have to be really careful. I'm expecting that this is going to be a larger price movement. If you are considering a smaller price movement, uh, we'll keep uh, an eye open on silver as well. So I'm expecting that we'll see prices still going up somewhere around 1930-1940 area. Thank you so much for viewing. Again, once again, if you have missed the analysis on silver, I have done some major change on the price of silver. Go ahead 
and uh, see look at the uh, analysis of silver it's really great thank you so much for viewing once again have a good one and bye bye